guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be filming another monthly favorites and as you can tell today I'm just super lazy so I'm in my very in my very lazy attire also known as lapsap attire I'm just in my pullover at FBT's of course and I just have two giant zits which makes me really happy and that's why I just want to stay it at home all day I just want to update you about my life so now continuing on with my monthly favorites I have to admit I'm not loving any specific fashion clothing item lately so I'm not gonna show you any clothing item for this video I'm just gonna jump straight into beauty items which I have a few things to show you guys so yeah so the first beauty item that I want to show you guys is this lip scrub which I have showed you in one of my previous videos and I've been using this lip scrub when I'm doing my makeup right before I apply my lipstick and I've noticed that after I applied this it's much easier to apply my lipstick because my lips are already smooth and your lips doesn't look so dry and cracky with your lipstick on so it's really good to scrub your lips before you apply your lipstick this is definitely one of my monthly favorites moving on to the next beauty item that I've been loving this month is this lipstick here it's actually bought by my dad for my mom but because this color looks so nice I just had to steal from my mom well actually she willingly gave it to me but yeah it was supposed to be a gift for her it ended up being mine and it's a very nice pinky glossy shade let me just show you how it looks like so this is how it looks like if I haven't mentioned earlier this brand of lipstick is Estee Lauder it's in the shade Rub Light or Rubelite I'm not sure but it's this pinkish glossy lipstick well I usually use matte lipsticks but this is one of the few shimmery lipsticks that I own that's the lipstick that I've been using almost every day so Moving on to the next beauty item is this perfume mist spray. It was a gift from my from my friend for my 18th birthday earlier this month. I mean March earlier this March. I really love the smell of it. It smells pretty pink uh pinkish. Uh, it smells really sweet as the name suggests sweet pea. I don't really know how to describe fragrances but this smells really sweet and feminine I guess so I've been spraying this every single day when I'm going out so those are the few beauty items that I've been loving this month and moving on to favorite accessory of this month is this black clutch which I have showed you guys in my previous haul video Go check it out if you haven't. I have described about this bag in my previous video. It's super good for clubbing. It's really good to store all my things inside. And the best part of it is I can even fit a pair of flats inside. Which is essential for the after clubbing when, I'm, when my legs are sore. And I can just slip onto my flats and just go home. This clutch is really huge and I can fit everything that I need inside. So... It's probably the best buy of this month and it makes whatever outfit that you wear look more classier. And now moving on to music favourites. I have discovered a new indie band called Urban Cone which I got to know them from my favourite artist of all time, Tof Lo. And she wrote their latest song called Come Back To Me and the first time I listened to it, I was in love with it. I was pretty surprised with Toe Flo singing Come Back To Me because it's kind of like different genre from her type of music 
a habits album you know like stay high it's so pop and clubbing feels and those like dancing type of feel I don't know what I'm talking about but well, I think that Tovlo is pretty versatile and I love her even more for that reason and, and somehow she wrote that song so Urban Cone is my current favorite indie band I love all their other songs such as Sadness, Disease, Freak and Urban Photograph they got that indie chill vibe which I really like and speaking of music, I recently gotten a speaker to blast my music of course and actually I didn't buy a speaker, it came together with this camera that was the best free gift I have ever received because I checked in like other stores that speaker cost at least $200 and I got it for free with this camera so it's really the best gift I ever gotten. <laughs> I have just been blasting music with this speaker every day and the sound quality is not bad. I'm really excited when I got this speaker. I felt like a teenager blasting music and just dancing when no one's watching. So. And the best part is you can play music by connecting it to Bluetooth so you don't need wires, USB cables and stuff like that tangling around the speaker. It's really convenient to use it. But I mean who uses Bluetooth now, right? I use it for that reason. And I'll just let you listen to my favorite song that I mentioned earlier using that speaker for you to hear. So that's the song when it's connected to a device. So this song is Come Back To Me. So if you want to listen to my indie playlist, you can check it out on my Spotify which I will have it linked in the description bar below and then let's move on to TV show favorites of the month I that since it's my holiday I have been really bored at home so I've been watching lots of TV shows lately and I have discovered two new TV shows which I really love the first one I want to talk about is Red Band Society if you have never heard of this show before you're missing out man because this show is so heartwarming and it's just a really nice show to watch and it's basically about this group of teenagers who are patients of a hospital and admitted for different medical conditions it's really heartwarming to see them fighting their diseases and still struggling with with real life teenage problems like relationships, friendships, family relationships too, yeah. Like we can relate to them, maybe not to their medi medical conditions but to their real life problems. Hunter and Kara, they are my OTP of the month or the or the year or forever unfortunately Hunter died and it was really sad but he gave his heart to her literally gave his heart to her and that's why she lived on and he didn't that part was so sad I just cried my eyes out for a good half an hour of course that show is somehow too good to be true because Everybody in the hospital is so good looking, like how can you be so good looking and be sick at the same time? Even the doctor in the show is so cute. It's unreal. Yeah, the show is just amazeballs and I love that show even though I wish that show would still go on but it ended. And the next show that I've been loving is Eye Candy. I really love that show because there's cute boys, hot boys and good indie and EDM music which are my two favorite genres. Think about 
cyber hacking, murderers, killing, hot guys, clubs. Yeah, if you're interested in any of those, just watch that show and you know what I mean. It's basically this girl who is a hacker but doing it for a good reason to find missing people and figure out why people are suddenly getting murdered for no reason and it's all because of a flirting app that they use and this stranger basically kills people who are fakes yeah he just wants them dead because they are not real I guess that's all I have been loving this month. Sorry I don't have a lot of things to show you but I have a lot of things that I want to share with you about like TV shows that you should definitely go and watch them. If you like this chatty video about my monthly favourites then do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you want to and also if you want to follow me on my social media i will have them linked down below i guess that's all so see ya bye